Hi, I'm here with Rosemary Watkins, who is a psychotherapist with individuals, families, and couples. And um, I put it out there for people to ask questions and Rosemary is very kindly um, answering them for us. And we have this question that's been uh, submitted. So how to detach from things you think have sentimental value? Why would we even have that category as an excuse to keep more stuff? Mm. That lovely word stuff. Yes. <laughs> and people do tend to use all sorts of categories and descriptions um, when they attach meaning or uh, connection to stuff. And sentimental value is certainly one of those uh, that makes it extremely difficult for people to part because it's almost like they're giving away a little bit of the person or the connection with that person. Right. And that they can, that I've attributed to the sentimental value. And um, loss and grief, for example, um, different than sentimental value, but similar in the connection is a linking object that people often hold on to as a way of keeping connection with the person who has died. And um, when that um, grief has been processed sufficiently within the person, then they're more ready and able to release the physical linking object. Right. And I think something similar can happen on a, a level emotionally with the sentimental object. Uh, sentimental value attached to objects that once people make that connection and process within themselves the the meaning of it and the relationship with that person whether they're living far away or just uh, either have died or have um, been uh, grown up now might be a child's uh, thing something like that that the person is holding on to as sentimental value from a time past um, then they, once they've processed and integrated that either time in their lives or the, the relationship in their lives, then they're more able to release the tangible external connection to it and more focus on having that and carrying that within them because they can carry that forever within themselves um, and it's not dependent on an external object. And whereas sometimes the external object can be a bit fragile if it gets lost or broken yes. And there can be a fear associated with it, which adds its own burden and uh, clutter, if you like, in, internally and emotionally, if they're carrying um, some of that as well. So I think processing and then reclaiming, um, making space for the connection, whether it's a relationship or a place or an event or a holiday or a memory and having the sentimental value and I mean some things are obviously are fine to have but the lady's question I think or the man's question was to do with uh, more stuff yes. associated with the sentimental value so I'm yeah. not just talking about the the odd fridge magnet or the yes. photographs or the um, some item of a, a doll from a country that you might have bought to remind you of your trip uh, but more as again the extent of that and the space that it might be taken up in your home and life. Mm -hmm. Thank you.